Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Millennium Dawn mod. Playing as Italy, and I don't have any music. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Uh, best intro ever. Anyway, we are going to be continuing our playthrough as the Kingdom of Italy. <clears throat> and let's just get this started. We need to select a national focus and we're going to take dismantling the parliament. Because that is going to give us 40% more political power per day. Which is pretty ridiculous, along with plus 50 political power. And... Stop the mass immigration. It's our duty to preserve our superior culture over the inferior Africans, and therefore we must protect our borders from the savages. Let's finally put an end to this illegal immigration from the wastelands of Africa. Remove national spirit immigration from Africa. Oh, I guess we are leaving. Okay. While monarchies are not technically banned from joining the European Union, they have to do petty little things like parliaments or elections, which the grand system around Vittorio Emanuele IV thankfully is the void of. This, however, has led to a precarious spot for us, being asked to either hold general elections within the next week, or to be expelled from the halls. Well, we won't hold elections, that much is certain, so it, must, so it seems that we'll have to play their little democracy game without us. Yay, King of Italy leaves. So we did a bit of a leaving. <clears throat> so I guess we're not part of the EU anymore, and that means that we get more political power. We don't have that 30% factory output, which is sad. I like the 30% factory output. I liked it a lot. Right, you were trying to be different. But I don't have the army experience to change things around. Despite the fact that I would like to change things around. Oh, that's two anti tank. Yeah, two for toad anti tank would be nice. And then everything else seems pretty fine. We really need to get more military factories, but eventually we will. More airline scandals. I guess I'll just do what is necessary. Floating airfield. Getting more of those naval doctrines. Perfect. Now that's four doctrines. What I wanted to see was how many land doctrine focuses you can get. Doesn't look like a lot. Two from land doctrine. And nothing else. Wow, that's pretty pathetic. So I guess we can still... Yep, we can still do the things. Um, that are focused on our diplomacy slash politics. We're gonna settle the southern question. The southern part of Italy is opposed to the idea of a new kingdom. Fuck you. Uh, can you please look? But through a concentrated propaganda campaign, we should be able to normalize the idea that among uh, normalize the idea among the local population and calm down any protesters. Oh, Athens. Athens Olympics. Wow, that was 2004. Holy hell. Long, long time ago. <clears throat> I was expecting it to be a little bit... Wait, 2008 was Beijing. Yeah, I think it was Beijing. Okay, so we have political power to do something. What? Wow. Um, this is actually pretty new for me. Could go to early mobilization. Yes. I enjoy early mobilization. That would be plus 60% construction speed on civilian and military factories. Yes, please. It's gonna make things go much, much faster. Yeah, next one is gonna be completed in November. That's ridiculous. I think it's a little bugged that it's this big of a jump. 
multicam, good. That's still a little bit ahead in some ways. Okay, so we've got a lot of things that are ahead. We don't really need to upgrade them. Modern Hardware 1, for less research time, should be pretty decent. Now, um, we can either go for Airland Battle or Shock and Awe. I generally prefer Shock and Awe. Although, no, you get the same tactics. Airland Battle is amazing for the air superiority plus 20% and plus 5 organization. But then again, you get more organization from advanced fire bases. And I get the feeling that if we fight someone like the United States, we won't have air superiority. So that's really not that good either. Engineer company? Right, we were upgrading our companies. So that's okay, I guess you can continue that. And then you're getting all of your aircraft eventually. <clears throat> you're getting all of your aircraft eventually at a pretty slow pace, but at a... Wow, 1.78 per month. That's slow. That's quite slow. I'm gonna have to deal with a very, very slow speed on that. Suburban, suburban riots. One of our major cities has been the target of an increased protest at, for quite a few days now. With a blunder, one of the local police officers, the somewhat peaceful protest quickly flared into a fully grown riot. They are largely political and based on several issues from racial inequality to le uh, faulty distribution of wealth. Crack down on the rioters. There's nothing we can do or encourage a dialogue. Well, most definitely this dick would crack down on the riots. So, we're gonna crack. We're gonna crack, loot. Um, smoking crack is okay, I guess. King Vittor Vittorio Emanuel III was given the throne of Albania by King Zog. If the Italian monarchy restored, it is only right that the Italian king shall be granted power over Albania once again. We're gonna demand the Albanian throne. Even though the Albanian throne at this point doesn't exist anymore. Albania is a republic, but I guess that does not matter because it's millennium dawn. And just in case they refuse, we're gonna ready a few forces. Uh, do we have paratroopers? Yes, we do. Do we have transports for those paratroopers? No, we don't. Um, do we have the ability to build transport planes? Yes, we do. I'm gonna uh, go and reduce the main battle tanks by one. So we're going to get the paratroopers to be ready. I'm guessing that this is the province. Then we're also going to get a couple mechanized brigades. How many troops does Albania have? Uh, five. Let's go look at them. In the meantime, we're going to have the two Alpine brigades, the armor brigade, and special forces commandos. I'm gonna have them all ready in Taranto. Let's see. Mm. Looks like mechanized infantry. Mechanized infantry, motorized infantry. Hmm, 124 soft attack on my mountain infantry. And 262 on my armor. So how is our naval invasion limit looking? Wow. It's high. Yeah, we can 
Really? I mean, how do I see my invasion limit? Hold on. Let's go in naval doctrines. I think that's where... No, that's in naval. Uh, the invasion for that capacity plus 20. Yeah. And we could get a further plus 20, so it's huge. We're gonna have my navy search and destroy. Actually, we also need to have um, to find a way to select my aircraft carriers. Hold on. Why can I not select them from here? Okay, maybe I can. And I have all of you. Come on. What do you mean? Oh. Really? Ah, that is so annoying. So I need to have my navy be standing still for my aircraft to have the ability to do things. That's sad. Anyway, I doubt that the Albania actually has a navy. And even if they do, I've got my uh, light cruisers sitting right outside their port, so I doubt they're going to be able to use it. This port uh, belongs to Greece, so no problems there. And we're getting the naval invasion all planned out. I doubt that we're going to need the entirety of the naval invasion. And since it's zero world tension, it really doesn't matter. Whatever we do, we can pretty much do it for free. Need more rubber, though. Uh, Ethiopia doesn't have enough. Poland. Then looking at our other air forces, if we go to the air map mode, we also have some fighters standing by, so we are going to redeploy these to Campania and we're going to get them flying air superiority missions. Albania shouldn't really have an air force, but just to be safe. It appears that they do have ships, but that might include merchant shipping. We could improved partial mobilization. I don't think we need that quite yet. I think we might be better off to some... Maybe Fearest? Yes, we need the army experience gain. Wow, gaining political power is nice. Yeah, parliament dismantling, very useful. Apparently. Yes, Albania appears to be getting their army ready, but it's not enough. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, Albania refuses to be annexed. <laughs> Albania is soon to be a wasteland then! Okay, that's a little uh, extreme, but I guess it's going to be a wasteland. Uh, then a bunch of people joined the EU. Slovakia, Estonia, Czech Republic, Cyprus, uh, Malta, Hungary, Slovenia, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia. Wow. Um, I think that's something Germany did, EU expansion, or maybe that's something the UK did, who knows. Got the Albanian throne, well, we're gonna get it, and then we can get the Emperor to gain claims on basically all the colonies too, so that's what we're gonna do, because, oh, who doesn't want colonies? Um, right now our stuff is still kind of readying up with the invasion plans. I wonder if we get some of our guys to be off that. Okay, good. That 
pushes us down the limit. Wait, what? Oh, what do you mean? We have a fleet sitting there. Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Get one of the light cruisers. Give him a command there. Patrol. I assure you there are no Albanian ships. So. Yeah. Okay, situation is now under control. 100% naval supremacy, and now we can... Initiate the invasion. What? What do you mean we can't? Why, why are they not invading? Oh, because we're not at war. Sure. I... Yeah. I'm very smart. Airwings is no mission. That's fine. Oh! Albania does have a navy. It's not weak either. Enemy ships present 42. Holy hell. Uh, then we're gonna search and destroy for them. And we're gonna kill them with our carriers. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Rip Albanian navy. We're just going to be smashing them really quick. And now you're finally moving, but at this point... Okay, so how many Albanian ships are present? None. At this point... We need the ships... There, because we need the aircraft providing close air support. I guess you can also do port strikes just in case. Because when our troops hit the shores, they're going to need support. Good. So now we're in Albania and we're going to go straight for Tirana. Sh we should be able to completely destroy the Albanian army before we lose our supplies. Our troops are fairly decent, actually. They seem to be performing quite well, especially the Ariete Armor Brigade. And our air force is helping us out against the Albanian special forces. So the country is going to be in our control soon enough. We're going to leave the mountain division behind and we're going to move them around and grab these mountain hinterlands for ourselves. And we're going to destroy the Albanian regiment. Good. Capital's ours. We're going to have our armor proceed down to northern Epirus. And then we're going to have the Special Forces Command to try to cut off the rest of the Albanian force from um, its supply lines. But that's not needed because we win. We could puppet them. Um, or not. Because we decided to take it. And there's no way to undo that. Annexation. Yay. Okay. Mm, that was not too hard. It was interesting, though. Because Albania actually built a navy. That was... Unexpected. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that the AI goes for things. And then we're gonna have our troops, because that was before everyone starts joining all the factions. That means that that was pretty much for free. Um, don't have any resistance in Albania. So now we can also repair the province. That's a naval base. We don't need a naval base. We're going to repair the infrastructure, however, because that could be very useful. Suburban riots. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We no care. Okay. So we did some world tensioning, which is fine. Don't think Greece is going to like that a lot. Uh, we could ask them to join a faction, but they're part of a faction already. Now we're getting all our carrier stuff completed. Really good. Like that. And the next targets are going to be in 
well, partially in Libya, so we're gonna focus on Libya first. Libya should have a decent armed force. Mm, 40 divisions about, it would seem. And what's the navy status of Libya? Seems to be extremely low. So we're gonna divide up our fleet, we're gonna have a couple of cruisers run patrols in the central Mediterranean. And then we're gonna have the main fleet sit outside of Tripoli. Good. And then we're gonna divide up our army. Do we, do we have that transport? Don't have any planes that can be stationed. Next complete is going to be 22nd of February. Okay. So we're going to have that in time, I think. And it's going to be from coming from Palermo. And we're going to leave a few of the troops defending mainland Italy. We're going to take the mechanized brigades, the armor brigades. Well, the fully mechanized brigades, anyway. And then... I guess these... These ones are enough. They're gonna be under the command of... Biagio. Mr. Biagio. Their invasion plan... Well, it depends on what their invasion plan is gonna be, but it's gonna be definitely coming in from... Messina. Or, um, it's called Sicily, I guess. Okay. So just checking out what the Libyans have with my navy. It seems like they're protecting their coastlines fairly heftily. But they can't protect everything. And especially Tripoli seems to be a very big weak point of their defense. And it land east because there's no troops guarding that place. They're gonna be the army of Libya. Or well, let's just let's just type it in the Italian way. And you're going to be uh, not green, I guess, because in Libya that would be quite confusing. They're gonna be blue. And you're going to be coming in from the sea, so you're an anchor, obviously. Uh, makes all of the senses. And then the paratrooper is going to be on a different commander, just to have that be easier to control. Then we're also going to gain claims on a bunch of other stuff, such as Somalia, the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, Gambela. What's Gambela? That's in Ethiopia. Okay. Southern part of Ethiopia. Yeah, we're also going to have the ability to attack Eritrea. Obviously. We have military hospitals in our... Yes, we do. Thankfully. Okay. What are we missing in terms of stuff? Uh, we're missing mechanized. We have everything else. So we should probably focus more on the mechanized side of things. But I guess like 4.5 per week is fine in terms of production of that. And you're going to be providing close air support and port striking. Of course, the main problem is that we can't use our aircraft carriers to uh, base fighters. That's a very big problem for us. So we're going to have to use our fighters at a mm, pretty bad... Well, actually, no, only 91%. So only 8% penalty. 91% mission efficiency is fine. So I guess we don't really need this kind of stuff. And we do have the Emperor. And we can either go for Savoy and Corsica, but... Yeah, right now that's not a good idea. Okay. 
could go just for the military focus at this point. We've gotten our economy stuff already pretty well done. Or we could ramp up the production of something. Now we're gonna fin we're gonna get the military focus tree all finished up. Then what is the last one here? Oh attack America, right, okay. Makes a lot of sense. Germany's going on a South American adventure, it would seem, for funding Argentina. International alliances. What the hell is that? Oh, said the rule can create factions. Can we create factions? I don't think we can. It doesn't say, but I don't think we can. Can wait, what? We're still in NATO. No, we're not. Yeah, we don't we don't have the national spirit. Okay. And now we can justify war goals to take claimed states, which are quicker. Than the conquer ones, at least I think so. Yeah quicker than the Conquer ones, thankfully, because the Conquer ones take forever. Hold on. Okay, in the exact landing spot that we have chosen, it seems that the Libyans are not present. I'm just trying to see what the best positioning for my carriers would be. Looks like here. Okay, are we getting that damn pr transport plane anytime soon? Should have been. Okay, good. Excellent. Now we have that transport plane. Uh, taking forever to deploy. Why does it take like 19 million days to deploy a transport plane? I really don't understand that. We're gonna get it. Fair drop order. I guess it could be here. Because then, once we land here, we're gonna have one mechanized brigade run into this part of the desert and another one run to here. Oh, well, right, or I'll have the paratroopers pair drop here, and so we'll sort of trap. This forces around Tripoli. Should be doable. Then we're gonna spread around the troops that are defending Italy itself. Okay, shouldn't be too hard. Once the justification is finished, which is going to take forever to finish, but oh well. Then we should have a pretty easy shot at that. Okay, so now we have our theorist. We don't really need one of these guys because they're worthless. Could go for one of these things. Could go for Ottomelara. Or the Marina Militare. That's 50% carrier armor. That's nice. Can we get a new model of aircraft carrier? Yes, we can. It's going to take forever to research.
I think first... I wonder if that actually... Um, whatchamacallit? I wonder if that is for mechanized too, if it affects mechanized too, then that's worth it. But if it doesn't, then it's not. And plus 5% of division attack from Oreste di Savoia. Who I'm guessing is a cousin of some kind of this thick. Army organization. Division speed. Yes, that's much better than everything else. 